Last week, Northwestern had this concert with Lil Uzi Vert. He uses the N-word profusely, mm. like a ton, and there was an email sent out to students who went to this concert saying, you don't have a right to use this word, which I 100% agree with. Like, I, as a white person, I don't have any right. I haven't, until reparations are paid, until there's some sort of giving back, there's no right. But what do you say to, I don't know what to do when I hear my friends using this word in a song. I don't know what to do when it's just, it's all the time. Words don't have meaning without context, okay? Um, my wife refers to me as honey. That's accepted and okay between us. If we were walking down the street together and a strange woman referred to me as honey, <laughs> that wouldn't be acceptable. The understanding is I have some sort of relationship with my wife. Hopefully, I have no relationship with this strange woman. <laughs> when I was young and I used to go see my family uh, in, in, in Philadelphia, where my dad was from, they would all call him Billy. His name is William Paul Coates. Um, no one in Baltimore called him Billy. And had I referred to my father as Billy, that probably would have been a problem. That's because the relationship between myself and my dad is not the same as the relationship between my dad and his mother and his sisters who he grew up with, right? We, we understand that. Um, it's the same thing with words within the African American community or within any community. Uh, my wife, with her girlfriend, will use the word bitch. I do not join in. I don't, you know, say, hey, I want to, I don't do that. I don't do that. And perhaps more importantly, I don't have a desire to do it. You, you understand? You know, um, the question one must ask, if, if that's accepted and normal for groups of people, we understand that, you know, it's normal, actually, for groups to use words that are derogatory in an ironic fashion. Why is there so much hand-wringing when black people do it? Um, black people are basically, you know, however you feel about it, they're not outside of the normal rules and laws for humanity. I had a, you know, a good friend who used to have this um, cabin in upstate New York, which he referred to as the white trash cabin. He was white. I would never refer to that cabin. I would never tell him I'm coming to your white trash cabin. <laughs> I just wouldn't do that. I, and and I, you know what I mean? I think you understand why I wouldn't do it. The question one must ask is why so many white people have difficulty Extending things that are basic <laughs> laws, you know, of how human beings interact to black people. And I think I know why. <laughs> um, when you're white in this country, you're taught that everything belongs to you. You think you had a right to everything. You had a right to go with you. I mean, and you're conditioned this way. It's not, you know, because you, you know, your hair is a texture or your skin is light. It's the fact that the laws and the culture tell you this. You had a right to go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be however, and people just got to accommodate themselves to you. So here comes this word that, you know, you feel like you invented. <laughs> and now somebody will tell you how to use a word that you invented. You know, what? Well, why can't I use it? Everyone else gets to use it. You know what, that's racism that I don't get to use it. <laughs> you know, that's racist against me. You know, I have to inconvenience myself and, and hear this song and I can't sing along? How come I can't sing along? You know what I mean? And I think, you know, uh, uh, for white people, I think the experience of being a hip hop fan and not being able to use the word nigga is actually very, very insightful. It will give you just a little peek into the world of what it means to be black. Because, <laughs> because to be black is to walk through the world and watch people doing things that you cannot do, that you can't join in and do, you know? And so I think there's actually a lot to be learned from refraining.